How's it going guys? Chaos Yami here. And y'all vote for it on my Twitter and so here it is. Welcome back to Mabinogi. One of the first games that I ever started recording. Here, here I have my giant Team and Chaos version 2. What happened to the original version? Um, well... Bullshit, really. Lost my account and all that crap. I really hope it's recording the video. Because I can't really tell. Is it? Yeah, it looks like it. Unlike most YouTubers, I don't have like two monitors. <laughs> Which sucks. Oh well. Anyways, just doing a short run. See if you guys still like this. If you guys are still interested in Mabinogi, it's an MMO that's a, that is basically a game of life. You can do whatever the fuck you want to in this game besides have sex. And that's about it. And how you can even do that in freaking ERP format. Just make sure you're at a homestead. And look, I've told y'all, I've told you before that I'm not exactly for kids. My demographic is mainly like, oh, I don't know, 16 and up. Because I swear, I cuss, I'm not, a, I'm not afraid to not censor myself. So yeah. Uh, encoding overloaded. Oh, whatever. Anyways, this is a this is actually a quest in the game itself called Missing Townsfolk or Townspeople. What was it? Sorry about the lag and stagger and crap. Missing Townsfolk. Anyways, in this game, you can marry. You can, you can make a family, make your own guild. That's all neat, that's all neat stuff. And of course, you could always die. Sorry about the, you know, crap ton of lag. It's just that my computer is still crappy. So I can't really do much with this stuff. Anyways, Mabinogi. <clears throat> it's it categorizes itself as a game of life and it certainly lives up to that. Cause there's almost nothing you can't do here. Especially when it comes to skills. You can cook, you can blacksmith, you can be a tailor, fashion maker. Hell, you can even cook. I haven't said that already. This game was literally my addiction. Pardon me while I punch you in the face. Y'all wondering, again, y'all just... Well, basically your life away from real life. That's about all I can call it, really. The boss room key already. Oh yeah, this is technically supposed to be a starter quest to get you prepared, but I've already beaten this dungeon countless times. Oh. 
Anyways, the current build I have right now is basically Professor J, which is alchemy, construct alchemy, and warrior stuff. Or con or close combat as it's called here called here. Yeah, I'm guessing you're probably curious about the skills that I'm using. Well, the skill that blows them away is called Wind Blast. What Wind Blast does is that, well, it blows them away. Yeah, I'm probably wondering what the hell this gauge right here is. It's called the Attribute Marble. It's mainly used for this thing. But you can't really do it unless you ha unless you have like all of them up. It's kind of stupid, really. That skill is called Water Cannon, which your basic attack. Uh, the thing about alchemy is that it requires crystals. Short, you in short, it's ammunition that you need. And of course, if you feel like it, you can just put, you can just straight up punch them. There is actually a class that favors, you know, up close and personal with quick jabs and such. It's called fighter. If y'all want me to, what I do is that I have various characters, and what I can do with them. Is that I, I can show you each one how the skills are related and crap like that. Anyways, with dungeons. You obviously have these dungeon room keys that drop off of enemies. And as you saw, you can't go through these doorways without defeating every mon without defeating every monster there. A little background of this if you don't know if you haven't watched my introduction to Mavinoji game. Gameplay back way back when you're what's called a militian or a meltian or something. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you got three races elf, giant, and human. Human is, of course, your all rounder, they can do anything. Giants are your giants, are your tough guys. I don't show it here because, well, I don't need to. Elves are your are the ones who prefer archery, obviously. Elves are better suited for like magic and ranged attacks. Giants are for heavy hitting and stuff like that, and tanking. Of course, it doesn't matter what race you can be, you can still be a tank, or you can be a DPS or a healer. Do what you want to, it's your life. I love this game because, well, you cannot pay to win this game. Everything about it that requires the in game currency, well, it doesn't help you in the terms of combat. If you want to look good, though, well, then go crazy. You don't get this kind of hair color or hair style 
without using what's called pawn, which is the in-game currency that, well, the paid currency, I think it's called? Yeah, paid currency. And here you got gold, which, you know, if y'all played Skyrim, you know what the hell gold is. But yeah, as you see up here, <clears throat> currently there's an event in progress in which all these heroes, which are called aces, you can rebirth free of charge. Culinary artist is a cook. Merlin is magic. The guy I have is Professor J. Treasure Hunter is like dual guns. Starlit. Well, singing. Think idols. That's all I can say, really. But yeah. There, there is just way too much stuff to go through in one video. I don't know. If you guys want me to, I'll do a separate video discussing each one of the combat classes, the ace classes, the, and the life classes. Hit that, li hit that like button down below if you really want me to do that. And while you're at it, why not subscribe? And hit, the, and hit that bell for notifications. Alright, enough sell out. Let's fight the boss. Oh yeah, if you don't like giant spiders, um, sorry. <laughs> this game has a lot of them. Anyways. Okay, get one shot. Thanks to you, I can get out of here. Oh, have you never been in this dungeon before? Let me show you the way out. I have, but... For the sake of the viewers. Once you defeat the boss, in s residing in the dungeon steps, you come across a room like this, collect containing treasure and a statue. After you open the treasure chest, interact with the statue to exit the dungeon without having to walk all the way back. These dungeons are scattered out through... I want to say this place is called Aaron? Yeah, everybody knows what the fucking treasure chest is, townsfolk person. Yeah, yeah, click the statue and then you can exit the, exit the freaking place. Yes, I want you to open the chest. Well, that's useful to me currently. <sighs> Anyways... Mavid OG is a really fun game. You can dungeon, crawl, cook, do whatever the hell you want to. You want to, you find some, you find somebody that you get along with and they like you, you can marry them. I don't know the whole process because I've never been married on this game. I've been in a, I've been in a couple families, but that's about it. Oh yeah, and of course guilds. Guilds are annoying. I recommend just joining one instead of trying to make one, because it requires pawn in order to buy the guild stuff and yada 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 blah blah blah. It's stupid. <clears throat> that's about that's about one of the dumbest things that I can say about having OG. Is that. In order to make a guild, you have to spend some real money. Or you can just level your characters up to level 50 and you get like 20 pawn. I mean, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> leveling care. Oh yeah, there's this thing called rebirthing. This makes leveling up quicker. And you also gain AP, which allows you to advance your skills. In fact... Uh, let's see here. Like I said, egg gathering, tasting, there's like almost nothing you can't do here. What was it? Counterattack that was perfectly trained and defense? 
You see, it requires 5 AP in order for me to do this. In order to get AP quicker, you rebirth. However, you can only rebirth once per real life day. And your character grows in age on a weekly basis. Yeah, that's the age mechanic. But I don't think, nah, you, you can't die from old age. Because technically for militants, there's no such thing as death. You just get knocked out. If your health drops to zero. Anyways. Okay, let's see here. What else? I think critical hit and combat master. Oh yeah. Most and there's like no skill you cannot earn here. All these all these skills right here that are unlearned, well you can learn them. However <clears throat> there are transformations here in this game. The humans have the Paladin or the Dark Knight. Elves have Falcon and Giants have Beast. So yeah. Like I said, if you want me to go more into the skills and stuff like that later in a different video, hit that like button. Or I'll just freaking say, you know what, screw it and just put a poll on Twitter. Like what do y'all want to see next? Anyways, like, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what to do. Dual wield mastery is different for giants. Because you can't equip weapons in both hands. You can equip two blunts, though. I think. I think that's how it works. An axe mastery, you just equip an axe. Light armor, heavy armor. Equip light armor, heavy armor. For humans... Do will mastery, you just grab two weapons and put them in either hand. That's it. I don't really know how different it is from giants. But yeah. All this crap you can learn just by, well, playing the game. There's nothing that you there's not there's no content besides making a guild that is hidden behind a paywall. If you're looking for an awesome game that is just really good and has super nice people, like I'm not kidding, a lot of the people in this game will actually help you, unlike in most MMOs. There's no paid subscription in order to get access to stuff. It's all based on your levels. You want to be, you want to, you, you are human and want to become a black knight, a dark knight. Well, you just gotta get to like level 150 cu cumulative, cumulative, or total. And you can do that easily just by, like getting your character to like 50, 20, or 30, and then rebirthing. Wait a day. Do the rubber. Repeat. Rinse. Repeat. <sighs> I'm okay. But yeah, it's a really fun game that I love myself. I've been playing Mabinogi for a long time. Like 2009? But I still don't know everything about this game. Anyways, what else is there to say? Well, that's uh, nothing else to say, really. Hmm. Anyways, you got you guys know you, I've already sold out, so I'm not going to sell out again. But you guys know what to do if you want 
to see more of these videos. Heck, why